This is Norm MacDonald vs. O.J. Simpson, a full recap. Well, it is finally official. Murder is legal in the state of California. I no longer take that position with O.J. Simpson. He was found uh, not guilty. I see him as the greatest rusher. In the, that's all he's guilty of to me, is the greatest rusher in the history of the NFL. With the recent death of football player and acquitted murderer O.J. Simpson, the world of comedy has erupted with conversations about O.J. Simpson and made plenty of jokes at his expense. Unfortunately for the world, one of the all-time kings of O.J. Simpson jokes, Norm MacDonald, was unable to log into Twitter and make jokes because he's currently in the middle of a dirt nap. O.J. Simpson and Norm MacDonald have quite the history, and it makes sense because they both have a lot in common when you think about it. They're both savages at their crafts, they're both black, and they they were both murdered by some douchebag named Cancer. I don't know this Cancer guy, but I'd like to punch him right in the goddamn face. No, but seriously, these two legendary men were brought together by comedy, and today I will be paying homage to these two killers and covering some of the iconic and timeless moments featuring them that bless the world of comedy. If that sounds interesting to you, then let's hop right into it. Picture this, it's 1994, and you're casually reading the news, and you see in the news that Nicole Simpson and Ronald Goldman were found stabbed to death. And you then find out that O.J. Simpson, one of the greatest running backs in the history of the NFL, is suspect number one. At the same time this is happening, Saturday Night Live is very popular and buzzing about the trial immediately after O.J. Simpson was taken into custody and formally charged with murder. A lot of the comedy on the show was relatively neutral and not too on the nose, despite the fact that a lot of them probably thought O.J. was guilty behind closed doors. However, there was one man at Saturday Night Live that was different from all the rest. One fearless host of the Weekend Update news routine that was not afraid to say what he really felt about O.J. Simpson. That man was Ellen DeGeneres. Just kidding. That man was actually Norman Jean McDonald. If you're a subscriber of this channel, then Norm McDonald needs absolutely no introduction for you. But if you're not a subscriber of this channel, you can change that really quick if you're finding value in the content you're watching. Anyway, Norm McDonald is often described by fellow comedians and fans of comedy alike as one of the most ballsy, fearless, and dangerous weekend and update hosts to ever sit behind the desk. Andy, you said something once. It was after a, a Norm segment and Norm had annihilated. He had done really well as he always did. You said to me, um, that guy doesn't care in a way that frightens me. During the trial, Norm was absolutely vicious with the O.J. Simpson jokes. It seemed like Norm would have several new O.J. jokes every single episode of Saturday Night Live. Some of these jokes are considered to be some of the best jokes to ever be told on Weekend Update. In a brilliant move during closing arguments, Simpson attorney Johnny Cochran put on the knit cap prosecutors say O.J. wore the night he committed the murders. Although O.J. may have heard his case when he suddenly blurted out, Hey, hey, easy with that. That's my lucky stab in half. <laughs> and in court this week, Cato Kalin testified that O.J. Simpson did not appear angry before or after the period of his wife's murder. But Kalin admitted he could have been a touch edgy while he was actually murdering her. <laughs> Nobody had really gone at O.J. Simpson like this before, and given his status as one of the most famous and successful football players at the time, this made the case extremely divisive amongst Americans. Norm would lean right into this divisiveness and go right for the throat time and time again, and it would lead to him getting some pushback while working at Saturday Night Live from management. Norm would write most of these jokes with one of the head writers at the time who was named Jim Downey, and Jim has talked about how they went through the process of writing these jokes before. Many months later, in September, 1994, the murder trial would begin for O.J. Simpson, and with this commence Norm and Jim Downey launching an absolute assault on O.J. Simpson and anyone who thought he was innocent. Obviously with this came many more jokes, and with many more jokes came hot water for Norm MacDonald behind the scenes at Saturday Night Live. Norm would be confronted by Don Olmeyer about the O.J. Simpson jokes, and Don was one of the executive producers at NBC who was very high up on the corporate ladder in the entertainment world. The reason for Don's frustration with Norm 
was that he happened to be very good friends with O.J. Simpson, which is an odd choice when you think about it. I've never been friends with a murderer before, but something tells me that those guys are real jerks. Don would tell Norm and Jim to tone down with the O.J. jokes a little bit, which was an absolutely ridiculous request when you consider the fact that Weekend Update on Saturday Night Live was a heavily topical news segment which was made to poke fun at current events. So what the hell were they supposed to do? Just ignore one of the biggest criminal trials of all time to make the producer more comfortable? To hell with that. Eventually, after many more hilarious jokes by Norm and Jim, the O.J. Simpson case would conclude with the juice being found not guilty of murdering those two people that he absolutely murdered. Then Don would approach Norm and Jim again and say to them now that the trial was over and that they should just move on and stop doing O.J. jokes because at this point, it's old news. As you could all probably predict, that's not the cloth from which Norm is cut. After being told this, he would then go on to open Weekend Update with this joke immediately after the trial's conclusion. Thanks, I'm Norm MacDonald, and now the fake news. Well, it is finally official. Murder is legal in the state of California. After this happened, Don Olmeyer made a move to have Jim Downey removed from the show as a head writer, and Don brought this to Norm's attention. When he asked Norm if he was fine with them doing this, Norm said that he would not do the show without Jim Downey, and that if they fired Jim from the show, that they would have to fire him as well. An incredibly loyal move from Norm. They really didn't want to let Norm go, but it was necessary if Jim was going to be fired, so both of them ate the bullet. And then it was perpetuated that the reason Norm was fired was because he wasn't funny, and we all know how that turned out, because Norm would then returned to host a few years later. Anyway, even after his firing from SNL, Norm MacDonald would not lay off the OJ jokes. He would then host the ESPYs just one year after his firing, and this would once again demonstrate how vicious Norm was when he went after someone. With the ESPYs, we got this golden moment at the end of the show. And there's Charles Woodson. How about that? And what a season he had. Great, man. He became the first defensive player to win the Heisman Trophy. And congratulations, Charles. That is something that no one can ever take away from you. Unless you kill your wife and a waiter, in which case... <laughs> Despite no response from O.J. Simpson publicly about Norm's many jokes towards him and his guilt, O.J. would wisely stay silent and just never address these jokes. You might think that this would conclude the saga of Norm MacDonald and O.J. Simpson, but similar to the jurors who thought O.J. was innocent, you would be wrong. In June 2007, O.J. Simpson would release his book titled If I Did It, Confessions of a Killer, which is a tongue-in-cheek way of O.J. discussing how he would have went about his life if he did murder his wife and a waiter. But lucky for us, the book is listed in the fiction section at libraries, and O.J. is clearly not guilty of anything. Then later in September 2007, O.J. would find himself in legal trouble once again. This time it was for stealing his own memorabilia that he claimed was stolen from him. He was found guilty and sentenced to 33 years in prison with the chance for parole after nine years. When this news was released, it would lead to Norm writing a new chunk of material about O.J. Simpson that we would then hear on his 2011 stand-up comedy special titled Me Doing Stand-Up in one of the the funniest bits about the O.J. Simpson trial to ever be recorded. In this bit, Norm claims he's changed his opinion on O.J. Simpson given his acquittal, and then states how he finds his new sentencing highly unfair. Listen to this. Well, I've changed my mind on O.J. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what I feel about O.J. I, as much as I was indignant about his uh, acquittal, I'm equally indignant about his uh, going to prison for stealing his uh, f***ing own shirts. <laughs> I don't think that's fair. I don't think if you steal your own shirts, you should get 35 consecutive life sentences. <laughs> So Norm once again finds the funniest way possible to joke about OJ, but this time in a much more sly and indirect way. Absolutely phenomenal. In the meantime, Norm would make many tweets about OJ Simpson. Some of the jabs that were directed at OJ, he probably himself could have found humor in. For example, this tweet of Norm saying he knows where OJ is golfing because of the house behind him, or this tweet where he says he's in Vegas with OJ and they're both golfing and how fun it could be, or this now deleted tweet where OJ says his mother is the only person to call him Orenthal, and Norm Replies and lived to talk about it. Great use of Twitter from Normie, and then many years later, Norm would be on Lights Out with David Spade on December 2nd, 2019, where he would speak about O.J. Simpson for the final time. I'll show you that here. Now in this cancel culture and everything, I have to say, I no longer take that position with O.J. Simpson. He was found uh, not guilty. See him as the greatest rusher 
And that's all he's guilty of to me is the greatest rusher in the history of the NFL. Yep. Maybe I was the greatest rusher to judgment. <laughs> all that for that? <laughs> then just two years after this, Norm MacDonald would die of cancer in September 2021. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that O.J. Simpson changed his name to Cancer before killing Norm. It truly was a tragedy to find out that O.J. outlived Norm MacDonald, and it's even sadder to know that O.J. had one less person on Earth that he could kill. Then just recently as I typed this, it was released that O.J. Simpson had lost his life to cancer, which is really sad to think about because O.J. Simpson won so many football games in his life, but the last thing he ever did was lose. W what a loser that guy was! Upon the announcement of O.J. Simpson's death, there's a plethora of people who are going back and watching Norm Macdonald on Saturday Night Live roasting O.J. Simpson, and it's bringing a whole new appreciation for Norm that hasn't always been there. It's nice to see Norm getting some of the recognition he finally deserves for killing his wife in a wait, wait a second, what I meant to say was killing it on the weekend update. Anyway, I hope you guys learned something from this video, and if you like it, you can subscribe to the channel and like the video. Also, there's some bonus content on my Patreon if you want to check that out in the description below. But all in all, this was Norm Macdonald vs. O.J. Simpson, a full recap. Recap.